In this video, we are going to verify IPsec 2 protocol ESP and AH. As you know, previously we discussed theoretically what is encapsulating security payload and the second one is authentication header. So I already create this topology. Later in the course, we will create such topology from scratch. But right now I want to show you two type of protocol ESP and AH. So let's go to lab. So this is my topology. We have R1, we have R2 and we have R3 and another router which play roll up ISP. Okay. So let me open R1, R2 and R3. Okay. What I done basically R1 is connected to R2. They have created a tunnel, but this tunnel we use ESP while R1 has created a tunnel with R3, but using AH. These are the two protocol of IPsec and we theoretically see what is the difference between these two. Now R1 public IP is 111, R2 public IP is 222 and R3 public IP is 333. While there is a local area network 192.168.1, 192.168.2 and 192.168.3 okay and this is ISP so we already configure these basic stuff okay and which I mentioned here R1 public IP 1 and private IP is 192.168.1 R2 we will use ESP and R3 we will use AH R2 public IP is 2.2.2 and private 192.168.2 R3 public IP is 3.3.3 and private 3.3.192.168. Now router image I'm using these in case if you want to create such topology so you can use this image. This is the image which I'm using. Okay and I already told you about the public IPs on ISP which is configured. So ISP has three interfaces here 2.2.2.1. 3331 and 1112. These are the IPs configured on these uh, ISP router. Okay, so R1, R2 and R3 are already pre-configured. Let me go there and enable show IP interface brief. So two IP are configured here and also if we I go to show IP interface brief. So this one is already configured and also basic IPs are configured. So you can see these are configured already. The thing which I want to configure right now is the protocol IPsec protocol. Okay, so what I will do this is R1 to R2. So I am using here is ESP. Okay, and this is my interesting traffic 192.168.1 and 2. While from R1 to R3, I will use authentication header. This is the only difference. Okay, and then we will verify. That's what I want to do. And the other side, again, I will use the same configuration in R2 and R3. So let me copy the configuration. Basic IPs are done. But the thing which I want to do, I need the crypto key. These are the crypto uh, and here is. I'm using ESP okay and let me copy and paste this one don't worry we will do this in detail but uh, right now I just want to show you what is the difference between these two protocol to capture the packet so here is done but R1 has another tunnel with R3 which is authentication header so let me copy here which is mentioned here authentication header and let me paste done so r1 is configured now let's go to r2 configuration so let me copy r2 configuration and paste and now let's go to r3 configuration so let me copy r3 configuration and apply okay so now everything is done let me clear this one and let's clear r2 as well and let's clear R3 as well. So my configuration is done. Now I need to verify. For verification, I need to ping something. 
but before ping why not capture the packet here either here either here it's up to you so let me capture packet which is going out on 0 slash 0 interface which is my public interface so I'm going to capture the packet and see the packet inside okay so let's see let me start the Wireshark okay and okay so I'm capturing this interface so when the traffic is going out either we can do another thing as well but we will need to capture so it's better to do that one because here is ESP and here is AH so let's capture this one let me capture 0 slash 0 which has a tunnel with R1 but using ESP okay so let me start a capture here and R2 so give me a minute to enable capture it's done now and let's see it's working okay because there has to be some traffic I believe yeah it's okay and let me start capture on R3 as well because we have two different tunnel two different tunnel in the sense of IPsec protocol one is ESP another one is AH okay so let me capture here as well and then I will send some traffic okay so it's on now it's okay and now let's see from R1 I will ping this loop back from this loop back which is interesting traffic and from here to this one so let's ping okay let me copy this one so I say ping 192.168.2.2 from 1.12 to ping 2.2 which is using ESP let's see and enter so it's ping one packet is dropped it's okay and now let's analyze the packet which is captured on this one which is a ESP keep in mind so let me open that one and here at the beginning you will see six packet six packet we already know this six packet and man mode because we are using man mode so this packet the first packet and you can see the source port and destination port is 500 UDP because this this using user datagram and this is 500 and let me open this one and let's see inside so I'm using main mode that's why we have six packet and this is tunnel one okay and this is the initiator because I'm the initiator and this R2 is the responder router okay so let me minimize this one and the first packet they will exchange is we know but right now I'm not interested in that one what they are sending is first packet but just to quickly show you and the first packet they will send their detail and uh, encryption algorithm their hashing algorithm their alternative things and their group detail and lifetime all those details will be sent by R1 and the second packet R2 will respond with the same thing which is configured on that side okay and the third packet they will exchange the key and all those things okay and this the key exchange again on the fourth packet they will exchange the key from R2 and the last two packet are encrypted so four packets are not encrypted in the first tunnel and the last two packet are uh, encrypted okay and after that quick mode start quick mode is three packet which is the second tunnel and all the things are already encrypted because the encryption start from last two packets but the thing which I want to show you these are the first six packet after that when I ping so you can see you cannot see the ping directly it's showing me ESP because we are using ESP encapsulating security payload so the source is the public IP and destination is public IP and they create another header so as we say theoretically and ESP what we say that it will provide you integrity encryption and authentication so all the things are there the traffic is encrypted and is authenticated as well and integrity is also there and also NT replay which we will see later and they are using different method 
right now we configure 3ds so it's using that one okay and what else we need to see we need to see ip protocol number 50 so there is uh, ip protocol number 50 they are using to send the uh, sorry let me open it and it should be here somewhere so they are using ip protocol number 50 it's here so they are using uh, ip protocol number 50 okay what else we need yeah it's support netty even there is netting between it will still it's okay so it's support net and it's exchange the information in the first packet here that yes we support T. so if we go there there should be a net t information it should be somewhere here when they exchange the information so they also mention that net t is support i believe yes here so they say vendor negotiation net revolution in the ike e1 so that support even net t what else we need to see encapsulated security play support two mode transport mode and tunnel mode right now i configure tunnel mode on both so if i check show ipsec show crypto ipsec interface i need there is one sa interface so the interface which i configure is r1 is basically 0 slash 0 so let me go to e0 slash zero and you will see the uh, it's using let me verify somewhere here and also we can verify from another command as well but i want to see here there is one command which can show you that you are using tunnel mode here is so you can see they say that we are using and use setting s tunnel mode so we are using tunnel mode right now but you can use transport mode which i will sh uh, show you in the next lecture all these two how it is work transport and tunnel mode anyway right now by default there is a tunnel and i'm using tunnel mode here is and you can see from inbound and outbound and also you can verify show uh, crypto ipsec sa here is also mentioned somewhere and it should be here here is so you can see we are using tunnel mode for inbound and outbound okay and also the anti replay you can verify here as well it should be mentioned anti replay here is replay detection support yes so it support a uh, replay attack you know we discuss and we see this one that it support anti replay uh, theoretically we discussed this one integrity encryption authentication and anti replay is support by esp protocol and it's encrypt the data so basically my data is encrypted so if i go down so i cannot see ping there is no such ping because the packet has been converted and they create a new header with esp and here you can see so this is layer one layer two this is layer three and this is encapsulating security payload which we saw like this my original ip packet ip header tcp header and data what they done esp transport they put ip header the one this one and then they put their own esp header so if we go back so there is esp header okay and after that there is tcp header data and a trailer as well and authentication this is what they do but this is in transport mode right now we are in this one esp and tunnel mode so new ip header okay new ip header and then we have esp header and after that we have ip header tcp header and trailer and esp this what they do okay but the data is encrypted in simple words so you can see these are the packet okay so we have this is the uh, layer 2 packet layer 3 the packet is from 2 to the first packet is from 1 to 2 so basically they are showing the public ip and then encapsulating security payload and inside 
they have all those information which mentioned here which is hidden and we cannot see the traffic so this is ESP now let's check on the other side let me ping 3.3 which is router 3 private IP and let me do it like this done and now let's go back to the Wireshark Cup R3 here you will feel the difference so if I go up so definitely there will be six packet same like this one because you are using main mode so if I go down let's see where is those six packet I can filter as well but I just want to show you okay and here is the six packet main mode one two three four five six same like this one it's okay and then we have a quick mode it's okay this is tunnel 2 but after that you can see we can see ICMP in this case we cannot because here we are using authentication header here is authentication header so you can see authentication header we are using authentication header and what they do we discuss that authentication header provide you data integrity authentication but edge and also anti replay but they will not encrypt the data that's why the data is not encrypted and you can clearly see that there is ICMP so this is layer 1 then we have a layer 2 then we have a layer 3 IP1133 then we have authentication header so if we go like this way this is in transport mode right now we are using tunnel mode so in tunnel mode we have a new IP header this is new IP header because is here is visible then we have authentication header after that we have authentication header this one then we have IP header again and here is IP header again this one 192.168.1.1 and 3.1 and then we have TCP header and then inside there will be TCP header okay because right now we are using ICMP and then the data and this is what you can see in that case we cannot see those things because we have to decrypt them to see which I will show you later in the lab we can decrypt we can put in Wireshark to see just for test purpose and real world is not possible but here you can see the uh, difference between authentication header now authentication header they are using protocol number 51 while we see here it was using IP protocol number 50 so let's see this packet there is any inside uh, protocol number 50 so let's click the first packet and here you may see here is protocol authentication header using 51 while here if we check inside the header so it was 50 so let me show you this is 50 encapsulating security payload and this one is 51 so this difference is clear to you they are using different now net T is not supported if you have any net device in the middle so it will not work in the case of authentication header so does not use net T okay and they will exchange the information in the first packet to tell about any net T or something so here they may see let's go to uh, protocol source and destination I need to go to security payload and there should be so they say negotiation net travel share they will mention here okay they see if something is so they will exchange the information here what else we need to see so this is authentication header and we saw the data is not encrypted this the main thing not provide data encapsulating encapsulation why we can clearly see the data is ICMP packet which is going from 1.1 to 3.3 my private range is I know this packet is inside this header it will go no but you know it's visible it's not encrypted my data is not encrypted because here I'm using authentication header and here I'm using encapsulating security payload ESP 
So ESP providing me to encrypt the data, nobody can see that I ping from 1.1, uh, sorry, 192.168.1.1 to 192.168.2.2. But here it's visible because it's not providing me encryption, authentication header. So these are the uh, two main difference between authentication header and these are the two main protocol which you can use. Now I already mentioned where to use authentication header and where to use encapsulating security payload. So we already discussed this theoretically. So this was the lab step by step. I show you quickly what is the difference and then we verify we ping something and also you have so many command to see the key to pair the policy. You can verify the policy as well which thing is a tunnel mode or something so you can see those things from here as well. So I'm using pre-share key and this the lifetime okay and this the things which you can verify lab time okay and what else this the priority because I create two different policy one for R2 this is R1 so that's why it's showing me two a DP Hellman group hash algorithm encryption algorithm so you can verify your uh, policy as well from here and you can verify the phase one and phase two phase one will be verified by this command which we will see later in the lab but anyway here is so this is my ipsec uh, phase one so i have two neighbor and the status is okay and everything is okay while if you want to check phase two so phase two is being checked by this one show crypto ipsec sa to verify the phase two traffic so here is how many packet has been encapsulated how many has been encrypted and how many has been digested and how many has been verified so it will show you all the detail and this is my interesting traffic from one one two three 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 okay and also i send the traffic from one to uh, two as well so it should be down either we need to resend to show you so if i ping r1 again sorry r2 which is this one let me change quickly to 222 and now if i check this command again so you will see one to three and also you may see one to two from r1 i have two tunnel okay and also you can verify the tunnel mode and transport mode from here which you can see and also this is the encrypted traffic how many packet has been sent from r1 to r2 okay and you can verify so many other stuff and i already told you replay detection so it's support by both so if i go up this is authentication header that's why esp is not here while if i go down so this one is esp and authentication inbound and outbound is not there you see because this one from one to two i have esp configure and one to three i have other thing configure so that's why here it's not using uh, showing me esp but showing authentication header while here is not showing me authentication header but showing me esp because we are using two different protocol what else so these are some other command which you can see and you can verify so many things okay and what else so these are the thing if you type show crypto isaac mp and question mark so here you can uh, find out the policy which we configure so this is my policy okay we are using triple ds and hashing algorithm is secure hash standard and pre-share key we are using and if you want to see the key so we are using cisco 12 and cisco 13 which is the key and if you want to see the peers so we have two peers who, uh, which is 222 and 333 and if i check like this question mark so you can verify profile as well and let me see profile so profile because this is related to that one so we don't have right now and essay definitely you can see those one and what else we need to check and also show crypto ipsec so anything start with ipsec is uh, phase two and anything start with isaac mp is uh, phase one 
so again question mark here you can see the policy and you can see SA and you can see security association so here the security association lifetime and so many other command which you can use here to find out uh, like SI, SIP and transmit the this one let me show you this one so we have tunnel mode we are using okay for this one and by the way I put transport but we are using a tunnel mode by the way the default one so you can verify from here as well so we see this uh, traffic and we capture and we see the, the main difference between these two protocol uh, which is related to IPsec that's it